This is uh, Nick, and I'm posting and making what I promised I would be doing, which was a custom build. My personal custom build, actually. Um, I'm not done with it. It's a very incomplete build because I'm actually adding on to it. Um, this is um, my PC, gaming PC, and also actually does a lot of other stuff, too. Um, I noticed that there's a very big trend where everybody's naming their custom builds now. Um, so, uh, this is a Cosmos SE case and everything else on the inside. So, let's call this, I don't know, for people who know me, let's call it Death. So, this is Death Machine. Um, in this here, I actually have a AMD 8350 8-core processor. Uh, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance um, 2133 memory um, I want to go to 32 because uh, I'll show you guys in just a little bit here's the outside of the case though very big case I like this case very big very roomy um, excuse my desk in the background <laughs> excuse my couch in the background um, very nice build. Uh, in my opinion, kind of one of my favorite builds I've ever done. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, open her up and I'll show you guys what's inside. One sec. Alright, I turned off the red light um, because I know it's kind of a smack in the face. Inside you have a the board is going to be an Asus Crosshair V Formula Z board. There's under the uh, my uh, Cool Master sitting in 240 water block there, closed loop, is the 8350, 8 core. Uh, next to it, 16 gigs of the Corsair Vengeance memory. And the reason why I'm going to go full 32 is because fill up the other two slots because it would just look sexy. Um, below that, you got two MSI. R9270s, the gaming editions, uh, the red and blacks because they look good. Yes, they're in Crossfire. Um, does it need it for some games? No. Um, does it look good on, say, like Call of Duty or Watch Dogs or Battlefield? Yes, yes, it does. Um, I'm run very awesome graphics, frame rates um, right there. With like a single game like World of Warcraft, I'm still running about. 200 uh, frames per second um, if I'm streaming I go down about 60 uh, but I actually do handle it pretty well um, under it is a uh, silencer MK2 750 watt power supply it's good enough for me right now um, I have let's see here fan wise there are one two three four five fans going um, Plus the radiator for the uh, the radiator for the uh, water pump there. I um, actually have this red beam light going as well. Um, this build here is a pretty pretty awesome build. Um, this is just uh, the little light box here that goes to the power tubing. Um, also, I have a two hundred or two hundred forty or I believe two hundred forty. Can't remember. Uh, 240 gig SSD for boot. This is my one terabyte slave, and of course I have an actual um, disk drive in the front. So um, a burner, a DVD burner. It's not a big deal. This is a very spacious roomy. I like it. Um, I can put a lot of things in there if I want it to. It could supply another. Um, graphics card, maybe a smaller one if I want to do like a three-way uh, crossfire or if I wanted to go NVIDIA and go and go SLI, that's awesome too. Um, let me show you the other side. Give me just a moment. Okay, this is the other side. There's, yeah, 240 gigabyte PNY. Um, it is awesome. That, this hard drive is actually awesome. It boots very quickly. Um, here's the front side of actually my uh, one terabyte slave, and there's my crappy wire work at the moment. I'm, I'm actually I was in the process of actually doing some moving stuff around, adding adding stuff, taking away some stuff, um, and 
Well, my, my crappy wire job at the moment. Um, I apologize. It's so crappy. It's really crappy. So, um, there's the back, like the IO shield. Lots of USB 3, and I love the fact that I have lots of USB 3 space. Four in the back, two in the front. Um, lots of USB as well. Very awesome, very nice. Um, can support up to eight monitors, uh, four per card. So, um, um, in some cases, I actually heard you could do up to like six per card, but I think four per card is actually kind of pushing it. I usually just do two per card, um, maybe three. Sometimes it just depends um, on what I'm doing. And that's the power supply. And let's see what uh, I'll show you guys what everything it's pushing. All right, let's see here. What do we have? Um, we have a Dell 21 inch um, IPS monitor. It's an awesome monitor. Love it. Great. An HP webcam. Uh, next up, we have an Acer 19 inch monitor. Um, it's not HD, it's not IPS. I'm actually going to be giving this one to my son here. Um, then we actually have my uh, Razer gamer controller. It's cool. I like it. It's nice. My Street Fighter characters. Got for my birthday. Cool. Some batteries. Um, there's the Razer Naga controller on top of the Steel Series gaming pad. And next to it is my Steel Series Apex Raw gaming keyboard. Um, awesome. I love the fact that I can macro all my buttons on the top for what I need. Top and on the side. Um, I can do one and two levels of macroing. Um, and the sound is awesome coming from this motherboard um, through my uh, Logitech G, uh, LG, was it Logitech G21's speakers, uh, two, two satellite speakers, one's there, the other one's hidden behind the uh, monitor there in subwoofer on the floor. And when I'm gaming or whatever the case may be, I use my... Uh, let's see here. The Steel Series Siberia headset. So, and uh, there's my living room. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, so um, gaming wise, uh, it's a great setup. The software I use, especially when I'm live streaming or whatever the case may be, um, it's right now, it's um, I'm using uh, XSplit. I also use Audacity. Skype, Ventrilo, um, whatever case may I be. Um, and there's some other software I'm going to be out there using pretty soon. But um, at the moment, you know, good good sound coming from the speakers. It's cool. It's awesome. But I actually do love the dual monitors. Um, other than that, guys, it's cool. It's been great. Uh, I'm glad I finally got this video out of the way for you guys to watch. So, um, have fun, man. If you need, uh, if you always want suggestions or anything else, just uh, please leave comments below. I guess you know. Um, and I know there's gonna be a lot of like negative comments, and I don't care. You can go fuck yourselves. I made this for people who want to see it. Who've been begging, please, please, please let me see your setup. I want to see it, I want to see it, I want to see it. And now you guys have seen it. So, awesome. Thanks.